So I began talking about this basically yesterday in a video. I didn't have the complete story. I saw the initial response and the initial announcement, but more has been come to light essentially on the Henry Cavill Warhammer universe. That's right, Henry Cavill's Warhammer universe and some responses from everybody and some details that have kind of surfaced on the fact that uh it might be on Amazon. It ain't going to be produced by Amazon. No, th this is going to be a completely a complete creation by Henry Cavill. Like all that's left to do is for Amazon basically to decide a number for how much they're going to be ordering then the rest of it just goes to Henry Cavill because of some small little details that unless you kind of read up on and I had to get told today myself uh Henry Ca the the company that's buying the the film movie and all these rights for Warner Brothers that company is led by Henry Cavill's girlfriend. Yeah, so Henry Cavill is... This is Henry Cavill's project. This is the ultimate project for Henry Cavill. He's been told... He's been... He's lost one of his favorite franchises, The Witcher. Something he loves so much. He wanted to be Superman. He was perfect for Superman. Superman was taken away with him. So now... To compete with both James Gunn's DC Universe, Disney's Star Wars Universe, and the MCU, along with Amazon properly assisting them and doing something proper and just buying the distribute, just buying like the, the rights to show it, or getting the license to show it or distribute it. Yeah, license to distribute, not do anything with it. Henry Cavill is subsequently making his own cinematic universe to compete with all these guys for Warhammer 40k. Oh my god, somebody in the comment section, please tell me where to start on reading these books. I have no idea. I have no idea about this universe. Get me started because I'm ready. I'm here for it. And it kind of sounds like this is now the... A definite thing going forward I said yesterday it's still unconfirmed in that article that I read this sounds like it's basically gonna happen no matter what and the start of this article is basically just going over the subsequent departure from you know DC the initial leak or the initial discussion of a rumor that he might be doing this and it goes into here where Henry Cavill basically says, yeah. And we start right here. Amazon has the Hollywood reporter would then report. Amazon has secured the rights to the game produced by games workshop after months of negotiations and fending off rival companies that also sought the rights. This envisioned as a potential film and TV play. They further detailed Vertigo Entertainment, Roy Lee, and Natalia Visico, who is Henry Cavill's girlfriend, teamed with Cavill to secure the rights and deliver it to Amazon. Vertigo will, will executive produce with Cavill and I think GAW's, I think Games Workshop, I might be getting that wrong, excuse me, Andy Smile and Max Botrill along with Amazon Studios. Essentially, what's happening here is Games Workshop sold, I want to say it was the film, video, and show right, th those rights to Vertigo Entertainment. They sold that to them. The people they sold it to from this production house Happen to be Roy Lee, Natalia Visico, like I said multiple times now, that is Henry Cavill's girlfriend. Henry Cavill and his girlfriend have been working very hard together and have actually kind of worked out together. They're in love, they care about each other, and this is a perfect project. They, Henry's lost so much, has lost these key roles, and now is going to be doing something that he loves. Working on a world that he loves and creating something fantastic. 
Cavill confirmed the reports and rumors, taking to his Instagram to announce, For 30 years, I have dreamt of seeing a Warhammer universe in live action. Yeah, because if it was done by people that don't like this universe, it would have been done awfully. Now, after 22 years of exper experience in the industry, I finally feel that I have the skill set and experience to guide a Warhammer cinematic universe into life. Partnering with Natalia Visico at Ver Vertigo has been a blessing beyond words. Without her, we might not have found the perfect home at Amazon. And having a home like Amazon will give us the freedom to be true to the massive scope of Warhammer. Cavill continued. We are about to have a Warhammer Cinematic Universe on Amazon. A lot of people, myself included, when I saw that Amazon title, I was like, oh my god, is this about to be Rings of Power or Wheel of Time? And Henry Cavill get side side hitched or side pushed or whatever like pushed out and said yeah you get this executive producer role but this is us you know you get a star and you get a produce but this is us and we're still gonna have our all our little fingers all over it no essentially what we're getting is kind of like reacher or terminal list where it's made by other people it's produced by other people other people put it together amazon just has the license to distribute what is created they get to put it on there and say, hey, have at it. Do whatever you want. Netflix does a similar thing. I think HBO Max doesn't. But Netflix is a similar thing along and more aligns with their animation department. Several of their popular animes, actually even some of their popular shows like Cobra Kai, for instance, they're licensed to Netflix. Netflix, they might say, hey, it's the Netflix series, but they're made by other people and then given to Netflix. That's what's going to be happening here. Whereas in Rings of Power, that is made by Netflix for... Not Netflix. That's made by Amazon for Amazon. Same with Wheel of Time and things like that. Same with The Witcher for Netflix. That's made by Netflix for Netflix. Cobra Kai is made by other people for Netflix, but exclusively on Netflix. It, it, it gets must, muddy in some areas, but you're kind of getting the picture. Some It's a licensing thing right now. To all of you Warhammer fans out there, I promise to respect this IP that we love. This is the part that gets me hyped. I know nothing about Warhammer. I know nothing about this world, this universe. I know Horus. Horus Heresies. That's the word I know. And I know blood for the blood god, skull for the skull god. I know nothing. I know basic little things here or there. That's just because I've seen it so much. I also know about space marines and things like that. I know names. I get the general picture. Don't know the overall world. Don't know what are these landers. What are these abilities? Why are these people fighting? All I know it's a world of constant war. But when you hear this, this line. Just, just this line. And this whole paragraph. To all of you Warhammer fans out there. I promise to respect this IP that we love. We love. He, It's something that he loves as well. He doesn't want to just half-ass this. He doesn't want to MCU this. He doesn't want to do what people have done. He wants to fully respect this. We're not seeing a Star Wars here. We're seeing Henry Cavill love. I promise to bring you something familiar. And I endeavor to bring you something fantastic that is. As of yet, unseen. Our first steps are to find our filmmaker, creator, writer, or filmmaker, creator, and writer. He should have had an and, but it's just a slash. Watch this space, my friends. I th This whole paragraph, this whole part right there, right there, tells me that Henry Cavill is going to be so active in this, making sure that this is not done half-assed. That this is done properly, that we can do it properly, and he is not going to ever take his hand off the steering wheel on this. Scroll down here. A press release from Games Workshop also further detailed that the deal encompasses rights to the universe across series, film, and more, 
and will sit alongside GAW's, I think that's Game Workshop, I could be getting that wrong, activities as they continue to make the best miniature in the world. Now, I'm still trying to figure out the overall understanding of this deal. Because I don't think Henry Cavill has bought the entire rights to basically uh, Warhammer. But I, I'm, I need some more details there. My understanding, it's basically the filming rights and things like that. Games Workshop still owns it, but I don't know. Ultimately, though, if it was 100% bought, all the rights to it were bought by Henry Cavill, I don't see any other person more suited to own this world if it was 100% bought by Henry Cavill because of how much he respects this world and how much he loves it and I'm pretty sure right now he's like a kid in a candy shop if he got that going like oh man I, I want to watch does he have a stream out there or just videos of him painting the miniatures you know doing geek stuff I, I just want to watch that now I just want to watch him enjoying this world I He's had so much taken away with him. He's been disrespected left, right, and center, baited and switched. And I just want him to have something that he loves and respects because he's such a kind and gentle man. The press release also confirms that Cavill will star in, in, star in and executive produce the Warhammer 40k franchise across all Amazon Studio productions. For those, un uh, this goes into basically a brief synopsis of the world, and I don't need to talk about all that throughout this. Ultimately, though, and I love this little part right here that Bounding puts in, we are on the precipice of seeing something like when Star Wars was first released, or like when Iron Man first hit the big stream, screen, not stream, big screen, like when we saw all these franchises first hit the screen or I'll actually I'll do Star Wars and Iron Man because DC has been all over the place, but they've had some massive hits here and there. We are about to see something so powerful in this world. Warhammer is such a vast and expansive universe that I've never touched been tempted to get into, been tempted to at least learn more about this world. And it is right now in the hands of a man that has so much love for it. A man that has so much power over it now. And a man that has would do anything to protect it and anything to do right by it. Because he loves it. Because he has respect for it. And because he cares for it. That's all us geeks want to see in this world that's all us ever want in this world is to properly see adaptations of things that we might not even be that into but see it adapted by people that truly love it and truly respect it and we are about to see possibly something that goes beyond star wars possibly possibly something that kicks off a new era of geekdom in a way that we have not seen in years we haven't seen something that kicked the can quite like this it would happen in star wars time i wasn't around then i remember what happened when the iron man hit the screen i remember the hype be behind that i remember being so into the mcu because i loved that iron man movie i loved phase one two and three phase four is a trash phase three has some awful things in it too but i still love that universe for so long we are about to see a turning point that if done properly, Henry Cavill will have ramifications potentially on Hollywood as a whole, on the streaming market as a whole. And Amazon probably has finally got what they wanted in the form of their freaking the, the crazy get the get geese. Game of Thrones series. They wanted that series. That's why they bought Tolkien. That's why they butchered Tolkien. Because they thought, hey, this will be our Game of Thrones. This this will be fantastic. Well, now they might get the license to at least distribute. 
what would possibly become their Game of Thrones that they never realized. It's in the hand of somebody that loves it. It's potentially going to be streaming to Amazon, a vast world that is continuing to go that is very brutal, very dark, and very fun in the hands of a man that loves it. I can't wait to see this. I can't wait to talk about this. And again, I'll reiterate to everybody in the comment section, if you love Warhammer, if you love Warhammer 40k, if you love any of this stuff, please give me your suggestions on where to start in this world, just with the books and stories. I would be more than happy to delve into this world. I might not fall in love with it. I might never paint the miniatures because I like my Gumpla. And I, I've seen the prices of those miniatures. It's outrageous. But I want to at least know what I'm in for. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it out with your friends. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.